once you have Alzheimer's severe symptoms, there's evidence that a ketogenic diet, you know, which in, is not a good diet for the average person because it starves your microbes, but in that case, it's beneficial. And there's one disease entity, refractory seizures in young children, where a ketogenic diet is also. Just oh my God! Ketogenic yeah. is is basically protein all the time. Fat, fat and protein. Fat and yeah. protein. Yeah. Right. Keeping your body in ketosis, a state of ketosis. Oh, right, right. Which yes. means it, you don't have access to uh, sugars Correct. or any so carbohydrates. So your body basically yeah. uses this, the fat. So, so, so that has, itself, yeah. So, and of course, presumably before we were agrarian, our ancestors, they ate dead animals, right? Or berries, of course, if they could find them. But they were the, the caveman diet. Yeah. Is this mm-hmm. correct? Well, but you know, going back to my personal experience on the as a caveman, right? To <laughs> <laughs> you had to say that. Oh, no, it was it was, uh, it was just hanging there. It was, was just hanging there. I didn't living, do it. <laughs> living with the Yanomami on the Upper Orinoco River. I yeah. mean, so they're surrounded by by animals. You know, by birds, by fish, the big mammals. They only eat a very small amount of of of, of animal products. They mainly eat tubers and berries and plant-based stuff. That's wow. why they have the healthy microbiome. That's why they have the healthy microbiome. And, and that has been studied all the way, a colleague of mine at UCLA, Elaine Chow, all the way into the production of neurotrans- of GABA, this inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain on a ketogenic diet. That's sort of like uh, Valium. You know, it, it sort of tuned, tones down the, the nervous system. 